Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kaanor, your YouTube fisherman, back here with another video for you guys. And today's video, we're gonna talk about the basics of surf fishing. This is gonna be a really nice video. I'm gonna tell you guys what to do when you decide to go surf fishing. A lot of you guys out there never surf fish before or wanna surf fish or doesn't have too much experience. They don't know what to do, where to go, when to go, what to use as a bait, what kind of gear. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that today. Hopefully this will help you and you will catch lots of fish. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I got my setup ready on the table. This is my basic setup for surf fishing. And lots of you guys out there experts. You know obviously what this is, but this video is for uh, surf fishing 101 what you need to have in order to have a successful surf fishing trip and catch lots of fish this is what we're gonna talk about today I hope it's gonna help you guys out the first thing you guys have to do is definitely do your homework you gotta check the weather you gotta check the waves you gotta check the wind direction you gotta check um, how the conditions are out there on the surf. You could actually subscribe to lots of Facebook groups like I did. I learn a lot and I still do learn. Every day for me is a learning experience, which I love about this salt water fishing, especially surf fishing. You learn every day something new and you could add it to your knowledge and ex actually go ahead and apply that to your next fishing trip. Hopefully you'll become successful. That's what I've been doing and it's been helping me out. So that's what I'm here to do to help you guys out. If I do and you guys take advantage of it, catch a couple of fish, I'm happy. That's what it's all about. So like I said, the most important thing is definitely do your homework, check the weather, check the conditions, check the surf, what's going on, high tide, low tide. And I'm gonna tell you what I do. I look at the weather, I plan my uh, fishing day, surf fishing day like that. I look at the best time to go fishing. I look for one, high tide early in the morning. That's my key element, that's for me. Everybody is different. I'm on the east coast of Florida, so this is for me. I look for the high tide on a very early morning. If I'm fishing there, I'd rather be there at 6, 6.30 in the morning before the first light. That's when the fish bites the most, early morning bite. That's always action, so you'll take advantage of that. Next thing I look for is the wind. Wind direction, I go anything but south. I never go fishing on a south because south winds bring a lot of trash fish, catfish, shark, murky, muddy water, very green, no visibility, really bad. So I never go on a south wind. Other than that, my favorites, definitely north, northwest, west, east, okay, northeast, those are just fine. You could go, but south, stay home. That's my uh, definitely to go to decision. I see south, I stay away. Uh, the next, I look for the waves and the wind, obviously. Anything above 11 miles an hour, definitely no go, because then it's gonna be a horrible experience for you. You have to deal with all that. With the winds comes the current. You have to use Sputnik weights. It's not gonna hold. You're gonna have a miserable time. So anything above 11, 12, I don't go either. The next, I look at the waves. If they're anything above five, six, seven, I stay away because you obviously know it's gonna be a lot of current. You're not gonna have fun. It's gonna be too much. It's okay, anything under five, four, three, two is perfect. Actually, two to three is perfect because you want some action on the water. You need some movement. That way the fish moves, all the creatures from the bottom, the sand move around. So it's perfect feeding frenzy for the fish the hunters so it's good time to catch a fish so I look for that two to three feet if it's calm flat 
I don't like that. Like a hot day, that's no go. I mean, it's good maybe early in the morning, like I said, the first light with the high tide coming in, but after 11 a.m., definitely no good either. Then you have to wait for the sundown, which is around, you know, 4, 5, 6 p.m. Then it'll be, a, a, again, good fishing uh, time for you guys. But that's what I look for. And once I see the good opportunity, I get out there. And when I get out there, this is what I do. I use, since I'm going on a high tide, incoming tide in the morning, I use my gacha lure or any kind of lure that you guys want to use. You could use a spoon also. I do have my all sorts of spoons here, as you can see. I'll show you guys. There we go. So I do use these as well. I throw it out there. I have other lures too, but these are for more for inshore when I'm kayak fishing. But I do use my go-to gacha lure on the high tide. I pair with my uh, Shimano Sahara C5000 reel and very light. I like that because when you catch the fish, a lot of bluefish, a lot of Spanish mackerel, a lot of jacks. You could even catch redfish snook when there's a high tide, incoming tide, early in the morning, especially on a mullet run. When it comes, the time is right you're gonna catch a lot of fish. And that's what I did, so it helps me. It does produce fish. It's a lot of fun to catch them. You guys know that I love me some blue, so I love my bluefish. I love catching them, I love eating them, so that's what I do. I use my gacha lure, that's one rod. That's a seven foot rod. I use that, very light, medium action. I have that always with me when I'm surf fishing. Next, I have my three rods. I have a 10 footer right here. That's the H2O, H2O Express. I pair that with the Zipco Stinger. That's a $20 reel. Already comes with the line, 30 pound line <laughs> included. They already put it in there. You cannot beat that. And I've been catching a lot of fish with that. It's incredible. So I highly recommend it. It's $20 cheap, does the job. I know some people are buying these $500 reels and rods, good for you guys, you know, but I don't need to do that. I still catch a fish, you know, so. And then after that, I have my 12 footer also H2O Express. I pair that with the Pan Battle 2 8000. That's for the big boys. If I catch a nice shark or something, I can actually reel that in easily. And my final one is the right here, which is I just got that. That's the Moon Sniper right there. Feeblink Moon Sniper. And that's the 15 footer. Whee! It goes all the way. So you could actually get out there further, around 90 to 100 yards. And I pair that with the Pan Battle 2 6000, which I love. These reels, I love it. They do the job, they work perfect. I've been having them for three, four years now, and it's been perfect. Just clean them up, wash them off after every trip, you'll be fine. So those are the rods and reels, the gears that I use. I'm very happy about it. I keep him, I usually keep two, and then one for the, you know, the jigging with the lure. If I see a lot of action, then I'll put the third one. But I always keep one spare, just in case if something goes wrong. You always need the one spare. But other than that, let's talk about the bait. What do you use as a bait on a surf fishing? The key baits for me are definitely for surf fishing, catching pompanos, Jacks, bluefish, whiting, nice size whiting. It's definitely sand fleas. I use sand fleas. If I found the live ones, always go with the live ones. If you don't, get the frozen ones. They work just fine as well. I use them all the time. I have my uh, rack for that, the sand flea rack. I catch them like that right on the surf. But this year, I heard that they got sick. They haven't been around. All the bait shops cannot even get it. Even the commercial guys go out there to get them. They cannot find them. So it's very hard to find this year. That's why we don't really see too many pompano action either this year because pompano mainly feed on the sand fleas, all the little creatures. So 
That's why the shortage of the pompano too. You see him now catching him right down by Stewart, uh, Hutchinson, all the way down there, they catch him, but that's way south for me. That's almost two and a half, three hours drive, which no way with my schedule, I cannot do that. So right now we do what we do, you know, what can we do? But definitely main bait, go-to bait is the sand fleas. And then I also use cut mullet. I use cut mullet because I like to catch my, where is that at? Right here. Cut mullet, very simple. I use that with my bluefish rig. And I'm gonna show you guys that too. Bluefish rig is, oh yeah. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. That's my channel. It helps me a lot. Hit the like button. I appreciate it, thank you. But here's my, right there, bluefish rig with the wire leader. That way those toothy creatures, they don't break you off. Spanish mackerel, uh, bluefish, and you catch them like that. I use the frozen mullet, cut mullet and I catch them all the time if you don't catch them with the lure, you know? So it's a lot of fun to catch. I do have my, uh, obviously, pump on the rigs. I do use those, and I always replace them with the circle hook. That's the key, guys. I never use the hook that they come with. I use the circle hook with the beads, floats, whatever. You could use chartreuse, green, yellow, pink, orange. Depends on the condition of the color of the water too. You could change them around. And I do use my goofy jigs. They catch a lot of pump on if you're in the jetties, if you're at the pier, they will work excellent as well. Those are goofy jigs with the little hairs right there, feathers. You got one big hook, one small hook, teaser. I love it. So that's also another option for you guys that you could use on the uh, surf fishing. And I always pair the, the, um, the lure one that I use with the 50 pound. That way I don't get break. They don't break me off, 50 pound mono. But on the other ones, already comes ready for your pompano rig. So you just use that fluorocarbon. They usually have a 20 pound to 30 pound line. And that's fine. It works perfect. You could use that. And you could always use live shrimp or shrimp, but they intend to not stay very well on the hook when you actually cast it out. So what I do is I use the string. This is the bait string. It comes like that, very thin string. It's elastic, it stretches a lot. I love that, I use that, it's very cheap. You could definitely use that to wrap up your bait first. And then, I always at the end, this is a nice fish gum or fish bite. I prefer Easy Flea, that's my main one to go to. And Chartreuse Green and the Sand Flea right here. Those are, I cut a little piece right after the Sand Flea or the shrimp. I put that in, just like a little square piece. So that way it attracts the fish more and your bait stays on the hook as you're casting. So I love it. It throws a scent out as well. So I do use them. I highly recommend them. Everybody's different. Some people like fish gum. Some people like fish bites. For me, I keep them both and try each um, rods. See which one produces better. And one important thing also, guys, to mention, when you're fishing out there, I do fish two rods. I throw one out close by, 50, 60 yards. To, uh, towards the cut and that's the true right after the first sandbar which is that's like called uh, fish highway so you know that from the cut they come in and they just go up and down on the true and work that bait uh, fish there so i use that first rod to 50 60 yard range and then the second one that's why i got the 12 and the 15 uh, foot long rods i use those to go 90 to 100 yards out right after the second sandbar, which most of the time, you know, the big fish, the pompanos, they run through there. Depends on the conditions, the high tide, low tide, whatever. But I always try to do two rods, one close by, one further out. That way you could actually 
um, go ahead and radar the entire area, see where the fish is at. And that's gonna tell you, so you could bring the boat towing back if the fish is on the 50, 60 yard, bring the boat rods back there and use it there, catch more fish. So that's the idea with that. But other than that, guys, typical weights, I use threes, four, five, six, and if it's so bad, I use five, six Sputniks. These are the wire ones, longer um, hook set right here so it doesn't get uh, detached to your line and everything got tangled up. I love these. These hold you very nicely. Sputnik, so I highly recommend you guys get some as well. But if there's not much current, then you could use your regular ones. Always have a towel with you, obviously. I cover myself head to toe. I use my gator, uh, my gloves. I use my, obviously, socks. <laughs> I love those. Those are the Enetic, Enetic socks. I love it. I get too much sun when I'm out there. And I'm out there sometimes, you know, six, eight hours. So I cover myself head to toe. I love that protect yourself safety first but this is it guys this is it that's my um another thing my surf card that's the fishing mate i love that i recently got that my wife purchased that for me as a birthday gift i love it these tires and the aluminum body it is extremely light you wouldn't believe it glides on the sand so if you guys don't have one I really recommend you guys get one. It makes a huge difference, day and night. I used to have the metal one with the regular uh, rubber tires. I suffered almost two years with that. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was fine. You know, I was struggling because I put everything on there. I put coolers, I put chairs, I put fishing bags, all the gear goes in there. Rods, reels, sand spikes. You name it, I got my Versabella, Vers Umbrella. You know, you could adjust that to your seat. I use that on my kayak fishing as well. I love it, sun, rain, whatever. But it gets heavy. And man, what a difference. <laughs> After I got this, I couldn't believe it. With all the heavy stuff, it was just sliding through the sand, thick sand. I'm like, what? I was so shocked and surprised. But I'm so happy that my wife got that for me. It's an incredible investment. So you guys on the verge of thinking of getting one, get it. Do not think about it, get it right now. I have all that stuff on the link description below. Everything that I use, like I said, I do use them. So I search, I shop around, I look for the best deals and I get them. And when I use them, I reflect that to you guys. So you'll find them on the description below. I have all the Amazon links. And if you guys do that and buy something from that, I do get a little bit commission as well. So that helps the channel, helps me out, buys me a little bait here and there. So check it out, guys. You're gonna love what I use. I highly, highly recommend everything for you. But other than that, that's it, guys. This is my setup for surf fishing. I hope it helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, please, please let me know, comment below. I'm always answering your comments. I have never missed one person yet. I do reply, so please do. I love it, I love talking to you guys. I love replying to you guys. So go ahead and uh, send me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about, any questions that you have. Also, if you wanna go out fishing with me one-on-one, -on -one, you could become a patron. I have my new patron site. You could become a patron and it'll be awesome. There you go, he's gonna be on the video, say hi. <laughs> That's my neighbor, how you doing? Yes, yes. All right, neighbors the walking the dog, but definitely patreon.com, become a patron and lots of perks. Go ahead and check it out. I have it on the description below as well. You get the fish with me, one of the perks. <laughs> What else you could want, guys? You're gonna have an epic time with me, I guarantee you, because I love what I do, I have fun, I reflected on my videos, I guess, everybody tells me that, so I'm very happy to hear that, that it shows, because I love it, guys. I love it when I fish, I love it when I go out there, I love it when I catch a fish. It's a different feeling, I don't know how to describe that. I get so happy, so 
anyways uh, i just want to say thank you guys again for watching and tuning in all my videos and please please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i will see you on the next video catching lots of fish see you guys